In this video we're going to see how to define Moses objects in Moses Modeler and export them for use in the Moses Solver. First of all we need to add a body and then we're going to add a compartment that has all the legs as buoyancy parts. And these are going to be defined using the tri-mesh geometry that we generated already. We have to say which um, compartment each panel piece belongs to and then select the mesh geometry for each one. So here we're defining the rest of the geometry, gradually adding the different legs and the different parts of each leg. So now we've got the three main legs in the central column defined as panel pieces. And the next item to do is to add beams for which we need a class the class, remember, defines the cross-section and uh, hydrodynamic properties. So this is just going to be a simple tube of diameter 1.6 meters and 30 millimeter wall thickness. So we've already added marker points that will define the ends of these beams. And again, they need to belong to a body. And select the class for the beam. And then the geometry is defined by two or more marker points that define the ends. So here we're jumping ahead and you can see the beams all join at single points. So what we need to do is apply offsets to those beams so that they don't go inside the column legs. And these are going to be local offsets by half the diameter of the uh, column. So we can fill these down copy and paste and all this data will be saved in the model file and can be exported at any time into a DAT file so here we're saving the DAT file swapping over to Moses executive we can load the DAT file and the SIF file that were generated from modeler and if we run the analysis it gives you a, just a simple analysis of the data and water line and there we have it in the modeler Thank you very much.